Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, everybody. Oh, you guys want time today. You guys want time today. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How is everybody doing? Carly, you always here. You always here. How y'all doing? Good evening, good evening, good evening. Kelvin, Sabrina, your cameras is on. How are you guys doing? What's up? I'm oh, man. Good. There we go. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Kimmy, Leandre, Kimmy P. How are you feeling, young lady? Good to see y'all. Marco, I just decided to do a, just a little impromptu call. Um, we're going to wait for our guests to come on. Thank you guys for coming on randomly. Felicia, Robin, Nicole, how are you? How are you? Hello, hello. You guys are feeling good, man. It's Monday. Listen, if you're not coming to Blueprint, I'm going to run it back. It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday, I know. I got, <laughs> I got something coming for y'all. Don't worry about it. Everybody who couldn't make it to Blueprint, but those who come into Blueprint, it's going to be absolutely amazing but i thank you guys for coming all we wanted to do like a pre-call for anybody who's coming to the blueprint who wasn't coming we wanted to do something special for y'all but welcome 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 who we got in this chat i don't know and if ain't nobody going to the blueprint summit uh buy that ticket for triple the price <laughs> wow. I think you, you couldn't resell them <laughs> no yeah. listen D damaris already got the damaris already got the content waiting we're gonna have like people outside get your tickets right here you want your tickets you want your tickets all right <laughs> they got they got some scalpers like scalpers i know it's, it's, it's hey Herm, i sent you a, a message i know your team probably got it some imposter yeah. tried to hit me up claiming to be you oh yeah we oh yeah i have a i have a lot of fake pages it's terrible a lot, a lot. That happened lot. with me too. Yeah, and you know, man, people actually got got by that. People giving up their rent money and stuff. It's it's absolutely terrible. Oh, yeah. Um, Hiram yeah. says he is in the waiting room. We What's have going on, her. I'm feeling. Can, can I just can I quickly say I'm, something? I'm here, you can identify those guys. You know, Herman used to travel a lot. Like he was in Europe, he was in Milan, and no, I'm so, in her. I'm in her. As long as you check his profile and you don't see those European tours, yes. There, don't, don't respond to them. That's very, very true. If you do not, if you if you don't even see a story, usually those people you could tell with their stories. You could tell it's not me. Um, yeah. Well, but, I knew it wasn't you because you ain't had no reason to be Facebook inboxing me talking about anything yet. Yeah, now they on yeah. Facebook. It got crazy now. It's absolutely ridiculous now. Uh, but hey, I, Herm, I I actually ran into somebody. So I'm big in the motorcycle set, uh -huh. and I was in Daytona, and I was talking to somebody, and they was bigging you up. Really? A dude named Ruff. Uh-huh. Ruff from Philly. Okay. Music teacher. He was like, yo, Hearn's my man, yo. Like, if you with him, you on, you on the right path. I was like, that's what's up. Man, that's all I got is my name, man. I ain't got much else. That's all. <laughs> I, I, so, I, how's your family? How's your family back um, back in Haiti, bro? Um, my, my, so, to be, thank you for asking. I appreciate that. Um, actually, a lot of my family was displaced during the earthquake in 2010. So I had very, very few people um, in Haiti right now. Um, but, you know, we always praying for our country. Um, um, but, but no family members there, thank God. Thank okay, God. okay, um, okay. But I'm going to, um, I'm going to mute everybody real quick. So if, I have one question before you mute everybody. Talk to me, what's up? What do, listen, I'm on it, okay? It's wealth in there. Listen, what What everything? I'm fully loaded to come. I'm super excited. I'm super excited. I need to know what else we need to bring. Who's going to be in the building? I'm thirsty, thirsty. I'm ready for my wealth Wheaties. Everybody know the wealth Wheaties. I'm super thirsty. I don't Let's need the it. backpack. Tell the mayor's thank you. I'm putting the money in the backpack. I got it. I'm, we're putting listen, money in the backpack. All you, need, all you need to be there is just an open mindset and um that's it like we're going to feed you you know we got drinks on friday night um we're going to feed mm -hmm. you both days we're giving you paper and pen like you you need to bring yourself and, and an open mind to all the um amazing things that you're gonna that you're gonna be learning this weekend um so i'm very very excited about it the only special guest that's going to be there that you don't know is actually hiram he's on the call he's ceo of ladder financial group whenever you guys hear me talk about um linking the bio for funding or my funding partners Hold on a second. Let me mute all real quick. Um, nine times out of ten, I'm talking about um, Hiram. Um, he's actually, remember mm -hmm. I told you guys I'm having funders come? So he's actually the funder that is going to be there 
to um, help people get funding. And since people, a lot of people are not able to come to the conference, we're actually um, um, going to have Hiram um, get people some funding tonight, but we're going to talk about that in a second. He's like, hey, Herm, I know we sold out, but let, let's help some people get funding with something, whether it's personal, whether it's business, and let's teach them something. And I'm like, all right, bro, let's make some, let's make some time for that to happen. That's why this was so last minute. But we appreciate you. Hiram, how are you feeling today, bro? Good, good. What's going on, man? I'm good. I'm How's good everybody? Today. Listen, man, we are blessed. We are healthy. We got almost 400 people on the call today. They they Woo. made they made some time. They made some time. Bro, we said yeah. this, out this morning and, and everybody is here because he's like, oh, they want some free game. So, Hiram, this morning I posted it. What's up, Kelvin Ware Jr.? It's good to see you, bro. <laughs> um, I, I love when I see my familiar names and faces. People who are very active in the DMs or in the Facebook group. I always want to shout you guys out. But, Hiram, um, everybody is noticing the banks are tightening up a little bit. We went through this back in 2020, 2021 during the pandemic where, man, I had somebody who had a great credit score and I knew that was a $100,000 client and they was getting 50000 So it wasn't even the same. I'm not saying we're back there yet, but we starting to see the signs that, bro, it ain't, it ain't what it used to be. So I wanted to bring my business partner, my friend, my colleague, colleague my fellow brother in Christ, Hiram, to come and talk to you guys about um, what's going on um, and how we can position ourselves for the win. Like I always say, no matter what type of economy we're going through, so that our profiles, our businesses can get funding. Hiram, I know this is only an hour webinar, so we're not going to hold them too long. Um, and I'm not going to give you a long introduction. My mentees already know who you are. Bro, talk to yeah. the people, man. What you got for us tonight? Hey, so I appreciate uh, appreciate everybody for taking out time and, and, and really really understanding the process of how to get funded, right? I think it's very important that, uh, yeah, sure. Can anybody fill out an application, submit it to a lender, and then see, yeah, let's see what happens, right? I think a lot of times we walk into that position and we we kind of just say, hey, let's hope and prayer. Let's just sit, submit it through and see what happens, right? But, you know, let me let me take it back a little bit. I think, I think the most important thing for us to realize is how to secure the bag, but how to think like the lenders, it's okay that we we you know we failed out applications in the past. We've gotten funded this. We gotten funded maybe ten grand, twenty, thirty grand. But when we're talking about hey, the bank that you just got on your own funded maybe sixty five hundred bucks. What if I can ten x that? What if there's a sixty five hundred dollar? <throat> excuse me. What if there's a sixty five hundred dollar approval and you can turn that into a sixty five thousand dollar approval? Right, because that's the ultimate goal. If I'm working on getting into the real estate space, the first thing I'm going to do is get myself credit cards. I'm not going to mess around with a line of credit because those monthly payments are expensive once you have that money rolling. But if a lender is asking for 90%, give me a 90% loan to value and a 10% down payment, well, the 10% plus closing on a $300,000, then you're looking at somewhere around the $40,000, $45,000 range. With forty to forty-five thousand at zero percent for twelve months, I'll take that all day because now I'm after I finish that property, I'm knocking on the next door and the next door and the next door. Same thing goes when it comes down to trucking. Same thing goes when it comes down to, uh, you know, um, Shopify stores or whatever you're trying to do. It's all about being able to make sure that the the money and the wealth is distributed within different entities and different companies. So today I want to dig into the details of how to secure the bag, how to get higher limits, how to get higher approvals. Because let's be honest, we're seeing. The, the media is the first one that's going to be able to promote that we're struggling financially as Americans. But what they're not, they not they don't know is that we're utilizing a lot of these strategies to be able to fund our business. So let's be real. We're going to use a lot of this information to be able to now use it and take it further from there. All right. So let's go into the, de uh, into the details. We're back two years or, or three years ago when the pandemic was happening. A lot of the lenders started cutting back. They were saying, OK, there's a bubble that's growing this immense bubble that's growing tremendously right now and what ends up happening is that we need to be able to now have the board members would meet and then they would say okay listen we need to chop this down a little bit because we're taking too much risk there's too much information that we have out there there's too much money that is out, that, uh, that, that, that people are in debt out there and we need to be able to now move this down so we don't have to be able to you know take tremendous losses now the biggest thing is it's very important here for you to understand is that not, it's not about filling out the application, it's about how to fill out the application. So on any type of revolving line of credit, line of credit, or any type of, of mixed hybrid, sometimes hybrid seven days, SBA seven BAs, all right? SBA seven A, excuse me. So line of credit, revolving line of credit, 
or hybrid SBA, seven A's, you can, in fact, use what they call household income. So for example, my wife is W-2, let's say I'm W-2, and let's say my mother-in-law lives with me, she's W-2, and let's say that I have an 18-year-old kid. Man, I can't wait till that happens, because he's out the house. <laughs> but I hear after they leave the house, they, 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 they still come back for a little something. Anyway, so let's say that we have four people in the household that are making an average of $50,000 a year, okay? Times four, that's $200,000 we are going to put the total gross income, not net, not what you take home, but the total gross income on that application. Why? Because on the application, it says total gross income or household income. It's not asking you specifically. I know you're the only one person guaranteeing that loan. I know you're the only one on the application, but it's asking you for household income. It's what they call the HHI method. What that does, it does two things. It reduces your debt to income and your payment to income. When your debt to income is dropped down, then the chances of you being able to obtain higher approvals increases. When your payment to income drops, meaning if the bank says, well, all this income of $200,000 gross, we allow them to have a 20% payment to income. Quick math. What's 20% of 200 grand? 40 grand. 40 grand divided by 12 months. You can have a payment up to that amount of money per month. So when you're submitting the applications, in case you didn't know this, 92% of lenders use artificial intelligence. It's a bot. As long as the information that is moving forward, the most main important thing on any application is, do they have the ability to pay this money back? Do they have the ability to pay this money back? So that's the first step, is making sure that when you're submitting an application, you're using the HHI method. And this applies for anybody with a 580 credit score, 620 credit score, so 580 to 619. 620 to uh, 679 and 680 and above. Second thing you also, or third thing you also want to remember is you're revolving. Not a lot of lenders use TransUnion. They were using that in the past, but now they like Experian. Now they like Equifax. So I don't believe in AUs until six months ago. Why? Because we were using a method, we say, well, banks don't like AUs. Computers pick up on that. But you know what authorized users do? Accounts. They give you a high balance, a high limit with a low revolving amount. So now when you're trying to even out, when the lender's saying we need four, every uh, your accounts on the average 40% less, what do we do? In order for us to be able to get that money in temporarily, we connect the AU, the limits increase, it levels out, keeps you on the 40%. Now the system picks up on that. And what do we get? An approval, right? So it's very important that when it comes down to inquiries and everything that needs to do on your, on your credit, you should not have more than 60, uh, six inquiries in the last 12 months. In the last, six, uh, in the last uh, 12 months, you should not have more than six inquiries, the system will automatically put you in a detection of what they call high risk. What are lenders all about? Risk mitigation. The lenders are about eliminating the risk so that they can get the best papers possible. So it's very important that we understand that you know what, before you apply, you get rid of some of those inquiries. Some lenders only approve through Equifax. Some lenders will say, hey, we shop. When they say they shop, that means that they cross body different reports, meaning, okay, I don't see a lot. I see, I like the Equifax, but let me try the, the experience, see if I, there's a higher score. If you get a decline with a lender, 
Did we just say, oh, okay, I guess I'm just going to wait for the seven to 10 days for that letter to come in the mail? No. We call them back. Before you call them back, you need to do what attorneys do, building their case. That means that you're going to pull your report. That means that you're going to look at the report. If there's any type of things that are on the top of your business, on your, on your personal credit report, you're going to challenge that or remove it or have an explanation for that. If there's a, a junior, uh, if there's a, a, a senior, we want to identify and mix that up. Second thing is, if there's something that happened 24 months ago, try to get it cleaned up, swept up, or have an explanation for that. Especially when they see a C that you were co-signer for somebody else. But before you call the lender, you want to make sure that all these things are in place. Hey, why did I get declined? Elon, by the way, Elon underwrites for over 188 lenders in the United States. So some, be on the lookout for that. Elon does a lot of underwriting. You might be applying for six credit cards or four credit cards and two loans, and it's the same exact lender that's underwriting. If the first one declined, you need to make sure that the second, third, and fourth is not going through Elon. Okay, you want to make sure that they're all in one place, all solid, all ready to go. Bro, are you okay. ready? To, are you ready to give the secret sauce on who, who are these Elon banks? Man, come on, that's they got They got to okay. That's one hundred ninety-seven dollars. I was gonna uh, we, try. We're gonna teach you that Blueprint Summit, man. Come on. I was gonna try. Like mm. I knew, I knew everybody's gonna DM me. It's like, yo, get your man. He's not really giving all the sauce. I, all I could, I had to try at least. But I want that was really important that you write wrote that down. Mm -hmm. uh, Kay was like, "What's the C?" Um, a lot of banks are Elon Financial banks, right there. They're, the underwriter is from Elon Financial, so you think you're going to a bunch of different lenders, but they're really underwritten by the by the same bank. But we'll do a class on that. I got y'all because Hiram's yeah, a, yeah, yeah. Hiram's a yeah, hater, yeah. but I got y'all. <laughs> no, 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 no. We 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 got to we got to be on. I, listen, I'm just taking you through baby steps right now. Baby steps. We're because baby the next because the next time that we come around, we're gonna we're gonna do live rehashing. What does that mean? A lot of pe people, a lot of you may know what that is. But uh, on the next call, when we do have the call, we mm -hmm. I want some of you that got the approval like early in the day, mm -hmm. and be like, hey, it, it it worked. You know what? Let me let me back up let me back up that claim really really quick go ahead go ahead bro what let me back know? up that claim really quick right because uh ahead. it's uh yeah we just we just rock with this one today how do you present on this thing you know i'm all, all about uh, that google let me see about that google thing screen all right you should be able to share your screen okay or you could or you could copy and send it to me and i'll share it but i got you all right let's see what we got you about to show some receipts i love when you show receipts. yeah i'm, a, I'm, a, I'm about to i'm about oh, to I love it. I love it. Let me get rid of this thing, man. All right. So let's look at this approval that earlier today we got one young lady. And listen, this already went through. This already went. Th they put Kanye West in there. I don't know why my editing team did this, but here's the approval that we had from from earlier. Um, we got sixty five hundred dollar approval mm -hmm. from. Y'all see that right here? Yeah, we can see it. The Bank of America one. Yeah, sixty five thousand. You said hundred. Yeah, wow. it, they got six. We got sixty five hundred uh -huh. earlier uh -huh. at like ten o'clock in the morning. Uh huh. We went back. It was a forty five minute call from my processor. Uh -huh. We were able to ten x that by the same exact things that I'm telling you right now. Well, oh, that's a receipt right there. Okay, I love this. It. Is this is Bank of America, one of the cheapest banks right now? They're cheap. They're not giving any love. So they just right. they just straight they just straight saying, hey, this is what you got, take it or leave it. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna allow you to slide like that. Hold on a second. So you're saying they when you when you and your team help with this funding process, um Bank of America came in at sixty five hundred. I say this a lot to my mentees. They came in at sixty five hundred, but you got mm -hmm. on the call with them and you're like, Hey, this is unacceptable because hey, I need all the data points. What's up? Mm-hmm. And you that, got it. You got it ten times. Now, data point number uh, one. Data point uh, number one. Hey, right this is the this is the income that we have in the household. We're oh. not we're not using my person. We're not using. Listen, if your household income, you got a little, you got a little bit, a little little business, right on the side. You just started, all right? Mm -hmm. Little business, you're about to blow up, mm -hmm. but you're making three or five thousand dollars in that business. Mm -hmm. That's gross. Then you have your income can just still grind the nine to five. Eventually, the goal is to be able to move into. Mm -hmm. 
into your business full time. Right, 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 right. Then you have, let's say, mother-in-law or father-in-law or anybody over the age of 18. You're adding all that income together. So the first thing you're going to hit them up uh, up with is to reduce the uh, or to mitigate the risk is DTI and PTI. Like, where are you calculating me at? What is your payment to income? Oh, I don't know. If you get an I don't know, you need a tier two level. If you still get an I don't know, you need a tier three level. Because it's it's not just taking no for an answer. It's like, look at this $10,000 credit card. Why are you giving me $6,500? I'm going to you. I could have easily called the six, the one that already gave me 10 grand that I already have an established relationship with, but I'm giving you a shot. Why can you give me a shot? I can, I, I won't take less than $150,000. This is what we call the elevator ride because you just give them the elevator ride and take them to the top floor. And then you got to peel them off the ceiling. Once you peel them off the ceiling, they're going to come back down and say, Hey, listen, okay, worst, the best that I can do is probably about $65,000. Is it bad? No, it's strategy. Remember, 92% of lenders are using what? Robots. Capital One being one of them, which by the way, Capital One is okay. But I don't want co-reporting. I don't want this on my my personal side, especially if I'm already building uh, uh, comps on the business side. So it's all about making sure that the debt to income and the the payment to income is reduced. You're adding household income that goes for revolving lines of credit that goes to that goes through uh, um, uh, different types of loans. That's you should big, always be able to utilize that. That's a big gem you just gave. So if I'm filling out the application, Herman, um, and I got my nine to five, I got projected income of my business. I don't like these numbers. Oh, I'm going to add my wife because she lives here. The, Correct. The income. If my children are working age, oh, they also make this. I'm going to make mm-hmm. sure I squeeze in as much as possible because they want to see what the house makes in my reconsideration call when I call back if the limit is unacceptable to us. That's right. All right. That's a good one. Thank you for that, bro. Yeah, you got it. Uh, As far as, as far as uh, that, that, that works with lines of credit, revolving lines of credit and sometimes hybrid loans. Uh, Hybrid loans are are obviously the, the portion of, of combining a line of credit and a term loan or a line of credit with a a credit card. Okay. That's always going to work. Now for some of you that are here saying, okay, that's great. Maybe that's somebody's situation that they may have already established credit. Um, you know, how do you, you know, how do you go here? How do you go there? Maybe I have a little bit of challenging credit, not so much challenging because of late pays uh, or too many inquiries, but I just, I'm just kind of a little heavy on my debt. You know what I mean? Uh, what I would recommend at that point in time is always have what they call comparable. If this is for those that are starting a business or are super heavy on debt. All right, I'm gonna say it one more time. You're starting a business or you're super heavy on debt. The okay, point that's, is that's, that's everybody. So you're saying if they're just starting their business, they're brand new mm-hmm. and they mm-hmm. super heavy in debt, what are their options? So a lot of times what we do, and let me present my screen here on this um on this here, right? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I'm going to show this here really quick, really quick, because it's very important that what we call this is what they call debt acceleration. Okay. Right. So when it comes down to debt acceleration, it's being able to have approximately three days to accumulate debt on your business. Okay. Real quick, before you go deeper, go uh, guys, we have Craig Gibbs, Gib, um, Gibbons from Ladder Financial Group. He's in the, the group chat right now. So if you have questions, he'll be there to support Hiram as he's going through his presentation. All right, Hiram, go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, absolutely. No worries. So so it's very important that we uh, we in order for us to catapult our business or to start a business, we have to be able to do what they call debt acceleration. When you're applying for credit or we're applying for credit for people, we're doing this at a fast rate. Now, obviously, we spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on AI. Right. I can take we can be in a meeting. I can give you my phone. You can scan your phone. And all of a sudden, give me your first, last name, telephone number and email. I can shoot that through a system and AI will automatically approve that within 20 seconds. I promise you, we have we have systems that we can do that. If I can do that as a small business, as a finance broker, as a as a as a small lender, I promise you, lenders can do that. I promise you, lenders can do that. Name but understanding number, name number name, and email, you could do a soft pull and pre-approve somebody with just their name, number, and email. Name, number, and email. And I don't even need your permission. 
So, so did you just basically tell everybody that who's coming to the Blueprint Summit, we already pre-approved them already? Did you just say no? That? You can't. No, no, you can't be doing that. You can't be doing that oh, stuff. We can't okay. be doing that. You know. All right, all right. <laughs> I just vibe checking. No, right, no, 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 no. But, but, but if you see me at the booth, you want to, you want to say, hey, Hiram, I give you, I give you permission. I give you permission. I can pull your first name, last name, and telephone number. The assistant could tell me ninety percent approval ratio. If you get an approval with me in the, on that, on that spectrum. 90% the system will say they're they're reading your debt to income, they're reading your payment to income, they're reading the trade lines, if they're yours or not yours, they're reading your primaries, they're reading the utilization, your inquiries, all within 20 seconds, the system is saying, hey, we believe with 900 different lenders throughout the United States, we have a 90% approval ratio for about approximately $70,000 to $80,000. If, if Credit Karma can do that, yeah. And you could do that without an inquiry. This soft pull, all soft pull. Wow, that's nasty. Okay, all soft pull. So it's very, it's very important that we understand. We need to start. We're in a world that banks know more about you, who you are, than what you even know about that bank. Mm. Data sells. Why do you think Tesla is so successful, and they give away these cars? Is not because they want to make the best car company in the world is because they collect data every kilometer and every mile that you travel with this. It picks up on habits. It picks up on what you do, how you drive, how fast you drive. Your your your, your information and the conversation you have in your vehicle, guess what? It is, ta it is tapped into. So banks know more about you, believe me, about the, what you know about them. So it's very important that we understand when lender, when we talk about lenders, is all about debt acceleration. You have three days to build a bag and get out and not do it to another six or 12 more months once you've invested in the business. So for my peeps that are in the 720 and above, we can help you out with this or you tell, or you can just run this play on your own. I'm giving away my whole blue, my whole PowerPoint for Blueprint Summit, but go, go, go ahead, bro. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, I, I got, I got another five more pages of this, so I'm not giving it all. I'm just giving five. Hey, go ahead. Okay. Listen, listen, listen. What Hiram is doing right now, and I'm not, I'm not exaggerating. I will pull out my blueprint PowerPoint right now. These are the lenders. If you have poor credit, and you got to pay down credit cards, right, Hiram? These are some That's great lenders people can go to. Hiram That's is correct. giving the sauce right now. Screenshot it. Do yourself a favor because this yes. is part of my PowerPoint. Pay attention. So one of the most important things here for me, is, or one of my favorite ones, and believe it or not, there's what they what they call uh, charter banks. They're not banks. They just have an NMLS license. They're not banks. It's like saying Ladder Financial Group right now goes to Bank of America and then goes to Chase. Mm -hmm. And I, and Hiram is saying, "Hey, I'm pitching a minority. I want to. I want to. I want to do a minority drive and and drive minorities over to you. But I want you to. I want to funnel all of my minority business owners through this, right? Because that's how they sell it." So one of my favorite ones out of all is this one right here, net credit. They go down to a 560. A 560. So they control, they service or debt service for TAB, Transportation Alliance Bank. And they also debt service for, um, uh, man, what's the other one? I just, I just lost it. Uh, it's not regions. I'll get back to that. Give me a second, okay? But they debt that they, they dirt that service for these lenders because they need percentage and points off of everything that they sell. What ends up happening is they go through net credit and now they're able to now get you in with lenders that would have never touched you because you're not over a 700 credit score. So net credit can give up to 10 to $25,000 quick cash infusion. Let's talk about BESEC. Let's talk about upgrade. Let's talk about my prime over here. My, my, my super prime over here, these are for my 720 and above. I can get up to $250,000 with BHG. We tried it. We did it last. We tried it. We did it last last week. Achieve has been a little slow. They gave us up to 70 grand. Lightstream gets me up to $110,000. Okay? So if you have debt, you can basically utilize this and pay down that debt. Why? Because lenders like what they what, what you call comparable lending when credit is not a a big thing for these lenders 
comparable loans is what helps you in being able to secure the bag with in lending institutions. That means that if I get, let's say my credit is not good, I'm starting a business, I get a loan with any of these guys right here. I'm going to go transfer that money and put that in a loan or credit card under my business name. If I get $30,000 through Mariner, I put that money back into the business, EIN. Once they see that credit card that you're utilizing it the way that you would, because on the business credit side, it doesn't say uh, it doesn't say secured. It shows as unsecured. You start getting the effects of lenders now soliciting your business through the business side, not on you personally. That's why when you all of a sudden come down here on the prerequisites with First National Bank, all you need is one month in business, a business account, a Dun & Bradstreet experience uh, 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 info to be correct, and they're giving approvals up to twenty-five dollars to $30,000. Y'all follow me yet? I hope you guys are catching this. No, we're catching. I'm, put, I'm catching what you put in there. Oh, down. no, no, no. Come on. You can't, you can't be selling this stuff, man. Nah, listen. <laughs> listen. It's easy. Step one. Either you go run this play on your own or you come to me and my team will handle it for you. I need for you guys to be able to secure the bag this week. I need you guys to get money. Either my team does it for you or you do it. It doesn't matter. The point is that you get 20, 30, 40, 50, 100, $200,000. If you have no use for it, that's okay. Guess what? Pay them back the money with, their, with the, the money that they loaned you. Hiram, Hiram, slow down. Because I, I feel, oh. I don't, I don't see enough fire emojis in the chat. Like, I don't, I don't feel that they understand what we just gave them tonight on a Tuesday. Like, I, I'm very confused. Y'all burning me up. Where the fire emojis? Because you're in the Facebook group. You're in my DMs. Herman, I got all these. I'm on credit card debt. Hiram just posted, if you have subprime to very good credit, he's showing you the, per, the, the loans that you can get to pay down the credit cards, increase your credit scores, right? Right? Or he said, even if you don't need the money, take the money and pay it right back because that looks sexy on your credit report. And now you're getting a bag on the business side. He just gave you the sauce. I, I don't know if you're paying attention to it. I see the fire emojis right now. Okay, finally, because y'all playing with me right now. Marilyn, I see you. Jabril, I see you. My guy, Jabril. Thank you. Okay, because you act like I'm not doing nothing for y'all anymore. Huh? where you at? You getting Hollywood on me? You was in Paris too long? I got you. We're giving you the sauce. I see y'all asking for Hiram's Instagram and his link. Y'all just want me to give my plug away to y'all? Stay to the end of the class. <laughs> I know Hiram got something for me. I apologize, Hiram. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Listen, listen, listen. And, and, and on, the, on what you were just saying right now, check out what happens within 45 days to a business credit report. From zero to an 80 in telescore. That's an experience. A lot of lenders pull from Experian and Telescore on the business side. Now, look at the risk. His ba banks work off a of risk factor. Remember, we were talking about that? Low to medium risk. So now they put you in a category of low to medium risk. Where before, you were risky. You were risque. Now, check this out. The credit limit recommendation is what? What does it show right there? 65600 the system, remember, I'm telling you, 92% of banks are using artificial intelligence. They're using robots. The system is the one triggering the amount of, of recommendations. The, 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 the system is recommending and saying, no, they need to get this amount. So when you look at this uh, uh, approval, sixty dollars to $80,000 on the business side. Now, what are we going to do? In six to 12 months, we're going to wash, rinse, repeat. Now their score, low risk, 96, a 98 over here on this financial stability risk. And what is that credit limit recommendation? 700 grand. For, for, my, for my real estate folks that want to start getting into development, can you do something with $724,000? A little bit. Not your money? A for, little for, the, for my truckers that have trucking, they've been working under somebody else's DLT. Can you put about a, a few Cascadias on the road? For those that are looking to like buy a whole block or lend or, or even be, become a, a broker or even, you know, it, it just imagine it, it's endless. 
when a bank is say when a, when a when a data gathering company like Dun and Bradstreet and Telescore, MX, Plaid, and all these companies are gathering all this data to supply to the main factor, and they're giving credit limit recommendations of seven hundred and twenty four thousand dollars, that you can do anything. That's like an open checkbook. Just walk around. What you want? What you want? It's like letting my wife loose in Target. You, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean. It's like letting her loose in Target. You know, it's it's crazy. It's so the point is, you know, 80 plus 110 grand in a matter of six months, that's 190 grand at 0% because you, you you decided to use HHI. You decided to take that money, move it over into a business account. They ha You had a comparable loan on the business account. And when you went to apply in six months, the lender saw that and say, wait, I got you. I got you. I got you, guys. Super Prime, right here. This is where you're at. These are your lenders. Y'all want to sit down with me? That's cool. We'll talk about even more lenders. Prime, that's that six. That's six eighty to seven nineteen, six twenty to six uh, seventy nine, and this is everybody from six nineteen and under. This is where you're at. Be careful with Money Key. Money Key likes selling you, selling you. Uh, you know they like selling you uh credit re uh, repair uh DIYs. They like selling you. You know, uh, you know, put your money into cap, you know, the, over here, put your money here, put your money there. And unfortunately, I don't need all that. That's I don't need to pay you ninety nine dollars subscription. I just need a quick five, ten, fifteen thousand dollar cash infusion because I'm about to drop this somewhere. Can I can we talk about something real quick, um, Hiram, because mm -hmm. I like um, I love the sauce and I know everybody they drop in the fire emojis. They appreciate it. We thank you with that. Yeah. You gave us you gave us the resource. You gave us the bullet. You gave us the gun. Now I need you to teach us how to shoot. Let's let's review it because I know you were going to go deeper into it. I want to make sure we don't glaze over it. Mm -hmm. So we got the gun. We we're getting ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars. You just gave us how to get fund. And if I got a six nineteen credit score, that's wild to me. But we mm -hmm. get this funds, bro. You're saying number one, if they're in credit card debt, pay out, pay down the credit card debt because their credit usage is too high, so it'll increase their credit scores. Correct. Correct. All right. Now, this for my people who it's the usage that's killing you. You got good credit. Otherwise, like if the debt is gone, you're going to look like you have sexy credit because personal loans do not hurt you um, in regards to credit usage. So you'll probably still be in the same fifteen, twenty thousand dollar debt, but it's on a loan. It's not on a credit card. And then, bro, they could come right back to you once their credit cards, once their credit score update to get business funding if they're structured properly. That's correct. That's right. correct. Excellent. Excellent. Now you said to people, hey, even if you don't need it, still take it. I want you to talk about that. So if my my prime people, my super prime people, they got approved for fifty, a hundred thousand dollars. Why should they still take it? Because lenders are lenders are starting to uh, to become cheap. If you ran this play and you did what you had to do, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. All right. Uh, let me see how I do this. That way I can I can stay in compliance. You know how, how I am when it comes up to compliance. You got to care for what you say on God's internet. Uh, you always say yeah, that. So, That's why we are not live streaming the Blue Park Summit because we're going to give our sauce in person. But go yeah. ahead. Stay compliant. Yeah, so <laughs> so so when it comes down to, to uh, um, uh, you know, living tax-free, you can't be taxed on money. You can't be taxed on borrowed money. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So when you're running plays... And you're doing what you have to do and you're taking money that already has an interest. You got to immediately put that money and invest it. Now, you may not have somewhere to invest it. I promise you, if you go to the Blueprint Summit, we we, we, we talk and I'm going I'm to I'm show you a spot where to invest it. I mean, game on. You got ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 hanging around. I'm going to show you where to invest it because it's very easy for you to turn that into six figures. It's very easy for you to get a return on investment that becomes seven figures. Right. If I'm trying to get to six, to six figures, I need to at least borrow 10 grand. If I need to get to seven figures, I need to borrow a hundred grand. If I need to get to so on and so forth, money has to be constantly be moving out of your bank account. For those of us that are sitting on money and expecting markets to give us, uh, uh, you know, 5.19% 90 day introductory rate. Listen, why? Why? Why are you counting on peanuts? Why are you working with peanuts? Small mentality will lead you to, to that type of mentality and a small return. Excuse me, no offense. But mm -hmm. if I want to play with the big dogs, I'm gonna I'm I'm, I'm definitely playing uh, you know paying Ritz Carlton a hundred thousand dollars to hang out with people at the pool because it costs a hundred thousand dollars to hang out with people that can now turn you anything into seven figures. Mm -hmm. 
when you sit down in a round table with people that are already used to with seven and eight figures, we're not talking about five to $10,000. We're not worried about the risk. When I, all the time when I hear, when people say, hey, listen, I got a 540 credit score. Congrats. They listen. I'm going to high five you. I can get you 60, 80, $100,000. Stop talking. Crazy, bro. No, what? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. And I'm going to show you in a little bit how I took a 560 and got them $199 because they're making money. Hey, that's you, what you bro. call. That's what you call. No offense, but the banks call this. This is not me. Hey, this you, is bro. cash rich, credit poor. Mm. Banks like cash rich, credit poor. My business owner tells my business partner tells me that all the time. Cash rich, credit poor will get you a loan any given day of the week. You don't even, you can just put any, you can put your dog social security on there. As long as you have three months bank statements on there, the bank is going to give you a loan. That's how crazy this business is. But the most important thing is that you cannot ask me, what's my interest rate? Well, I'm going to give you an interest rate, but it's going to come in a money factor. It's almost like leasing a very expensive car at a high rate. Right. The most important question out of it all is, can I make money without $200,000 if I invested right now? If you come into me asking, hey, I, I, I want to borrow this money. If you have no place to put it at, you need to start thinking because money can come. You probably apply for three or four different types of loans and lines of credit and term loans and all that, and you got decline. Maybe we haven't chatted in the, in the past. But the most important thing to understand is that banks are willing to give you the money if you know how to position yourself and the business properly to be able to now receive it. You have to be in a receiving position to be able to spend it. OK, you can't be here, which, you know, you can't approach lenders with arms crossed. What is that telling a lender? You can't use your personal email to communicate with a lender. Right. Listen, when I um, uh, Herm, when you came last week, mm -hmm. when I picked you up at the airport. What I pick mm -hmm. you up on. Oh, you picked me up in a beautiful um, white Jeep Rubicon pickup truck. Sexy. Pick up. Brand new. Brand new. Sixty four thousand dollars. Now, for some of you, like, yeah, all right, I got a $200,000 car for them. Listen, the point is that it's not in my name. Hey. The point is that if I ever went into a situation, that vehicle, I, which is going to be on a rental company, that produces thirty five dollars to $4,500 in Florida a month net because the tops come off. It, I, I, we live by a beach, and that's profit. So when I walk into a dealership and I negotiate with the guy... It's like, listen, I'm not looking at it for an opportunity for me to put my wife in. She doesn't care about that. Give her a 1992 Jeep Cherokee. She don't care about that. Mm -hmm. And, and she's, and she's going to roll with it. But this is business opportunity. So that if you get the money, you have to be able to lock it in, put it somewhere in the business, let the business credit continue to build it up because you don't have any use for the money. That same money that you put in there, you make the monthly payments back to that lender, the originating lender. By the time you pay off the personal loan, you've already paid that off. It looks good on your credit. Your utilization is down. And now you have this business credit profile that you can mimic similar to a seven, 800 credit score on the personal side. But now when you walk into dealerships to go maybe transfer that liability to an asset, pick up a car under the business name, you pick up cell phones into the business name, you pick up assets, properties, and everything under the business name. And now you don't tie yourself. Why? Because lenders give 50 to 70 percent or times more than personal if you run a restaurant how much toilet paper paper towels do you go through in a restaurant mm -hmm. if you if you're in, in your household there may be two three four people but banks know that the business is going to require more expenditure that's why your approval limits are higher and will always be higher and now you can leave your personal credit alone and stop fussing with it so that when you prepare yourself, when you're making that type of money, $100,000, $200,000, $300,000 a year paying yourself, now you can go get yourself a loan through Angel Oaks Mortgage. Because let's be real. Some of us are business owners, but we don't even get to have a mortgage yet. Some of us are working W-2. We don't even have a mortgage yet. But your business bank statements, three months of business bank statements, all you got to put is 10% down. And now you got yourself a business a business mortgage under your business through Angel Oaks Mortgage. Bet y'all didn't know about that game. Say that one more time, bro. Say, give him that one more time. Listen, listen. 
One more time. There's a reason why EINs have the uh, uh, same numbers as the Social Security. Uh -oh. You heard, heard him say that. Uh oh. They don't listen to me. They're going to listen to you, bro. I, I've said it too much. They bored with listen. me. Listen. Mm. You need to be able to start transferring that over to a business expense. You'll save on taxes. You'll save on, you know, because you, you, you're, not, you're not taxed on borrowed money. Keep on reinvesting. Keep your personal checking account low. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm letting you know. They don't care about that. Let's pause Remember, real we're quick. We're trying to move this over. Mm -hmm. let's, let's pause real quick. This is not a webinar. We are not selling y'all nothing at the end of this webinar. No, no. We're not selling y'all nothing. We're just here to give y'all straight game. We're here to teach. So I want y'all to pay attention. All right? He's going to be dropping the funding link. A lot of people side DMing me this. I need his information. We got you. We're going to drop the link. But you guys be positioned to get this fund. And if you need it, we'll put you in position. But we're not selling you nothing. He's just here to teach. So pay attention and write it down. Pay attention. Go ahead, bro. So anytime that you take that, that, that responsibility, that weight off of you, that weight off of you, and you put it under the business, this will help you in a lot of things. The most important thing here to do is be able to go and transfer that I already showed you, you take high usage, you borrow money, you put it under the business checking account. You can open a CD if you don't have any use for it, but I always recommend a revolving line of credit because that's going to be a comparable. Once you have that comparable, you start making money through the business. You start getting a lot of loans. You start getting revolving lines of credit. Like I showed you, First National, their average a revolving line of credit is anywhere from 25 to 30. And when it comes down that you are now establishing business credit and you're making business revenue, Angel Oak Bank will take three months bank statement of your profits and your P monthly statements, bank statements, right? And your P&L to make sure that you're on the, on the uh, you know, operating in the, in the black. And off of those three months bank statement, they will approve you with 10% down for a mortgage under your business with you personally guaranteeing it. Where a lot of us on the personal side, the lender needs two years of this, two years of taxes. I need the firstborn. I need all this. No, it's easy. Wait a and second. And this is not an investment property. This is a real mortgage company. Wait a second. Wait a second. Okay. Let me, can, how do, how do I drop a fire emoji in the chat? Hold on. Maybe I need to do that. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Run that back. You know, I wasn't paying attention. I was on my phone trying to post on Instagram. Then I was like, what he said? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. You just gave the game on how to get a primary, like a home, primary home in my, in my business's name that I'm personally guaranteeing with just three months bank statements. What's the That's name correct. of that bank? Angel Oak. And you got the plug for that. Well, we send deals over to them. I mean, we're not, we're not, we're not licensed, but. Right. But you'll send we're able to send. Over. Yeah. They're, they're a mortgage company. So we just need to get in touch with you. Yeah, we'll just get 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 the bag here, start building the company, start making revenue, and let's make you a, a a handoff and say, hey, listen, they need funding for their for their uh, for their home, ten percent down. Okay, it's a three hundred thousand dollar home. You're already making money through the business. Take the thirty, drop it in there, and let's get a get, get ourselves a mortgage. Stop 10%, renting. Ten percent, ten percent, ninety day bank statements. Okay, all right, all right, guys, we're gonna end the call here. I think we got enough for tonight. Y'all be blessed. Happy Easter, whatever. Good night. What? <laughs> that's crazy. I apologize, Harlem. Go ahead, bro. I apologize. That's listen, th listen. That's the goal. Listen, I, there's nothing. There's nothing. When we purchase vehicles under the company name, we not put. We're not PG in that. Mm -hmm. When my business partner brought, you know, purchases uh, his boat, he's not PG in that. But what? Those are toys. If for whatever reason we we you know this whole place you know if this if this whole world just comes to just blows up overnight God forbid and the only people that didn't get blown up was the uh, was my banks listen y'all can y'all can take that back because guess what it's it's under the business whatever it doesn't affect me but a lot of times what we do is that we get too crazy and happy on not being able to position ourselves to be able to become successful long-term. We're just looking for the short-term solution. And the short-term solution is cool, but you have to be able to get that done correctly from the beginning, from the get-go. All right?
so let me leave you with this. Let me leave you with this because I, I think a lot of us have have some questions here, but uh, there's more to come. Those are going to be on uh, out there on, on Friday. I can't wait to meet you guys. Uh, but this is how we rock, okay? I'm going to give you a list. On, when I get people pre-qualified, this is kind of my, this is kind of our, 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 my 685 and above, okay? My 685 and above. I start with First National Bank. That's my first plug, right? I'm going to maybe go find a little credit union of 50 grand. I'm going to maybe try to get 75 grand out of these folks. You say, hey, hire me all I need is 75 grand. That's cool. The immediate thing that I need for you to do is start working on your personal credit, on your business credit. Remember I said we need at least a trade line. That money that you borrowed is going to go down to this CD loan. And that money that you leave in that CD loan is going to get you a $500 minimum trade line, right? Because you borrowed 10, you put in a, not so much a CD, but a credit card in that, in that bank. And all they want to see is a 500 plus trade line. They want to pay it excellent telescore. They want three months in time in business. Remember we did. Time in business, only one month, three months in business, right? You could get a, a shell court from uh, from um, from Hearn, and that, that time will calculate from there. And three months bank accounting activity. So for those, those of you that were asking, hey, any type of, do they ask for any financials? Well, yes, for the business, right? We're going to go through Columbia Bank. Columbia Bank does give me anywhere from about forty five on average to about $60,000 on average. This is business funding or personal? That's business, business. This personally mm -hmm. guaranteed. Mm -hmm. This is PG nice. through the wow. business. Yep. That's nice. Okay. And and then you got tier three, right? Remember, you're around that that six to twelve month period. That's what they like to see. City mm -hmm. does like to look at personal credit, but if you are, you made a million dollars in your bank, not holding on to the bank, but million in and out, city under this program will be willing to provide you a no PG, but they will ask for a declaration and they will ask for a corp resolution. I'm telling you, you need to be around here, hovering around here. You need to have at least 60 plus your paid X and your telescore. Remember that trade line, you already have it there, right? City will help you out. Now, right here, it kind of gets a little tough depending on when they have their board meetings. But this is pretty much my formula. I go from First National, and then I go to Columbia, I go to City. So right now, I'm probably sitting about $90,000 in revolving lines of credit. Minimum. Minimum. Once I get here, good night. I can go for American Express. As long as I get approved for American Express, right now, American Express is approving approximately anywhere from two to $5,000. If you have these accounts that show good Payment history, it does require two years, but again, a shelf court can also help out with that. Low five plus bank rating, meaning that you're utilizing the, there's money coming in, there's money coming out of the bank account. Okay, so it's very important that you keep money coming in and out of the bank account, even if it's profit or not profit, just keep on moving back and forth. I'm not saying go do groceries. No, I'm talking about go pay yourself and maybe go pay that back. I know it's a lot of moving parts. But American Express will start you with a two thousand or five thousand. The next time around, in six months, they will increase you drastically based on what they have here. But if you have good payment history with City, you will even qualify for a line of credit with American Express that will get you up to a hundred thousand dollars within that six month period. No hard inquiry, hardly no financials. Just say yes, accept the terms, and boom, you're approved. Bank of America, I already showed you. They start you low, but you can go back rehash and get higher approvals. Everybody knows Chase. Right now, Chase's average is about fifty dollars to $90,000 on average for approvals. Guys, all of this right here is either single digit or 0%. If you get qualified for 0%, listen. Listen. 0% is the cheapest money you can get out there right now. And there's a lot of ways that you can make money with 0%. Oh. A lot of ways you can make money with 0%. Listen, you can walk down these streets and you've been looking at that property. You're like, man, grass is growing on there. I know nobody's living there. I know I can probably bag that for about 40, 50 grand. I know I can probably bag the one right next to it. But let me go talk to Hiram. He was talking about that 10% down program. 
I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm going to go talk, talk with these guys. Cause what happens is you get $25,000 or $50,000. I'll show you how to liquidate those cards without having to get that 22% rate, put that in the closing, 150% of the rehab covered for you, 90% of the front end covered for you. Now you just got yourself two Iron, that's enough. Either, or that's either, enough. Or either two. No, that's enough. I'm okay. cutting you off. No, absolutely. No. <laughs> No. Hey, 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 Herm, hey, Herm, you know he got, he, hey, Herm, you know he got to get them gems to these mentees. Absolutely you know, that's what not. We do. Absolutely we not. We over deliver. That's it. I'm cutting him off. I'm cutting him no, off. No, don't cut him <laughs> off. He over deliver. No, no, absolutely not. If you are coming to the Blueprint Summit, Hiram will be at the networking event, the free networking event. That's why we have the networking event, so y'all can talk to Hiram. Absolutely not. You're talking about literally credit cards and... So you can put the down payment on the house. They're not ready for that. Absolutely yeah. not. Absolutely yeah. not. They're not ready well, for that. Well, I, I, I tell you what. I tell you what. Uh, talk. There's a link that's be, that's that's being dropped there. Um, uh, do me a favor. Uh, fill it out. It don't cost you anything just to chat with the team, just to get pre-qualified. You'd be surprised. You might walk out with thirty, fifty, sixty thousand dollars. Doesn't matter. Like, all right. I just opened up the whole world where everybody was saying, "Well, you know," he starts talking about pre-qualifying. I just said, I just threw in there five sixty. If you're okay. a business owner, we'll go all the way to the 400s. Hiram, so do you don't, last don't year? be scared to talk with us. Don't That's be what scared I'm to say. it's free, no inquiry. It's the soft pull. Hiram, remember when we did this call last year? We did a million dollars in funding. That's right. It was, it was disgusting. Right. Like Hiram has over 900 banks. I'm giving you my mm -hmm. plug right here. I gave I mm -hmm. gave y'all I gave y'all the gift. Drop, drop, drop. Uh, the, the link is right there. Book an appointment. Hiram's team is gonna take care of y'all. I gave you my plug. If you are blessed to get a ticket to the Blueprint Summit. You're going to meet him. You're going to shake your hand. Hiram, good luck, man. Now that you dropped all this stuff, good luck. They're going to bombard you. I wish you blessings. Yeah. Um, Hiram, <laughs> I know I know we're at an hour time, and I know you have to be with your family. Do you have time for a couple of questions? Yeah, absolutely. Got time absolutely. A couple of okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. I'm going to look in the chat right now. Um, I got a couple people who got their hands up right now. Um, Chris... <laughs> Chris, I'm gonna ask you to unmute. I see you, Chris. Chris, talk to us, bro. What is your question? <laughs> so my first question is, I messed up with Elon back when I had a Sterling um, credit card with them. How can I repair that relationship? They're like Amex. Mm -hmm. No. Uh, uh, let, let me ask you this. Uh, uh, that was under the, the personal, right? Yes. Yeah. Move on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Move on. I mean, right. this... There, there's um, there's a lot of lenders that are out there. Now, one thing I did not say is this, guys. Credit unions are good to get credit cards with because they're they're a little quicker. Their threshold's lower. However, when you go to a major national lender or even a regional lender, what they'll do is they take that credit limit, divide it by two, and then they'll give you they'll 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 give you a limit based on the half of that. So if you got a thirty thousand dollar Navy Fed. They're gonna only count it as a fifteen thousand dollar Navy Fed because the threshold is so low. So you know, I would say uh, run the play with some Midwest banks that are national. The Midwest is crazy. Keep in mind what's happening in the Midwest, guys. What's yeah. happening? It's going crazy. There's a lot of land. What a do you think? They, what do you think they 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 farming out there? All right. So my next question green, is about uh, Angel they, they, they're farming green yep. cannabis that they yep. don't know where to put the money at. So yep. guess what happens? Credit yep. unions are now starting to open up because they're not federally, federally governed. So now you have Midwest lenders that have all this money to spend. All they need is little old Hiram out of Florida, little old somebody out of Philly or New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, Texas, just to say, hey, can you guys loan me some money? Ding, ding, ding. Mm, too so, much sauce. so much so angel oaks what is their service area uh angel are oaks they... is a national then uh, okay. you, you might want to go in there on their website uh they're, okay. they're national do and, they do uh, investments and, and... or only primary no no they they do they do the uh um they do a bunch of different loans uh they do um um bank statement loans uh bank statement elite those are for your High, high type of, uh, you know, $5 million companies and up. Closed in second mortgage, uh, jumbo loans, DSCR loans, 1099 income loans, asset qualifiers. So if you have assets, let's say for my truckers, like, you know, my credit is not that good. I'm, I'm sitting about maybe a 590, 600. 
uh, but I have like 10 pay trucks or 20 pay trucks, uh, you know, put a lien on the trucks and then they, they, you know, they do what they got to do. Foreign nationals, some of you that are in the Caribbean uh, and, you know, Europe, Africa, wherever, I-10 mortgages, guys, like no social security, I-10 mortgages, as long as you're generating P&L loans, I mean, the works. Um, they're they're a good place to fit your uh, to to uh, to fit your mortgage. Now, this is not an end all be all mortgage company. Like the rate's not going to be cheap right now. But if that means you're paying five thousand, your your business only paying five thousand, ten thousand dollars more in rent or three grand, mm, I'd rather pay it in interest. But it's my property. Thank you, thank you for thank that you. question. I'm done. No, I'm done. Right. Thank right. you. Absolutely, we're going to go on next, and we're going to keep it moving. Um, Ray Holloway. Ray Holloway, what is your question? One question per person, guys. There's 600 of y'all in here. Ray Holloway. Uh-oh, Ray. We going once, Ray. We going twice. Next. Next. Y'all know how, y know how we do. Y'all know how we do. Y'all know how we do. Saeed Slim Alexander, my guy, my mentee. Talk to me, Saeed. So I just wanted to know, what if you guys don't, what if we don't have a W-2 income? What if it's still only a 1099? Uh, is the, uh, um, all right. So, so te uh, if you're sitting over a 680, I don't care about the, the, uh, the income. If you oh. are sitting at a 620 to 679, some lenders are going to ask for it. Probably about 70% of them are going to ask for, uh, income. Uh, so that's where you will have to show some sort of tax showing, Hey, uh, uh, you know, I, I'm really making the money, but they like to see at least a minimum of a one year making that type of money. Thank you. Thank you, Saeed. Great question, because everybody in the chat was like, that's a dope question. They need to hear that. Robin Nicole. Robin Nicole, what is your question? Okay, I was trying to unmute. There you go, sis. Okay, so for people who... If you, you're brand new, you don't have a business, right? Um, I mean, because when I first started this three years ago, cleaning up my own credit, all I wanted to do was get a house. But now it's different. So my question is with with you just starting out. So do you should you do a a, a, a aged shelf court or you know, because when you start from the beginning, you got to wait two years for this, two years for that. And on my personal credit, I is cleaned up. However, I did not build as I was cleaning it. So I have um, a secured credit card um, that's very low. And I was told that that would build your scores up. And right now I'm at TransUnion 792 Experian. 786 and Equifax 671. I got you. Uh -oh. Click on that button. I got like three lenders on the top of my head that we can send you through. Uh -oh. And it's not going to be secured. He said, I okay. got you. That was a crazy okay. scenario, but you have a solution for that. That's wild. Yeah. Again, 92% of lenders are using are using AI. So we just got to, I hate using the word trick, right? Right. It sounds so deceiving. Like we're running some sort of play here. Like we, you know, uh, I just I just hear handcuffs every time I use the word trick, right? It's like this right. is nah. but but listen, I have three lenders that that will use artificial intelligence through that process, mm -hmm. and uh, and and we can kind of backdoor it. Yeah, that's the perfect word, backdoor it. Backdoor, uh, okay. And, uh, and we can help you out with that. Okay. Let me see the solution. Okay. Excellent. Thank Excellent. you. Next you up, thank you, my lady in blue, Miss Rivers. How are you? Talk to us. Hey, Pam. Hey, everybody. Sorry, hey. you can't see me because I'm getting my hair ready for the Blue Pin Summit. So, I'm hey. but anyway, so I'll be there. But anyway, thank you so much for this call. So my problem is back in the day before I knew about credit, right? I used to follow people that say do like the credit sweeps and pay people. And they took off literally everything, whether it was good or bad. So since I have been building up my credit, now that I know better, I do better. My biggest problem is I don't have um, credit like the, you know, the history and my transunion is like a seven seventeen, but I keep getting denied because they are saying obviously that 
I don't have enough credit history. And the biggest thing I like, for instance, I just applied for like a pay, PayPal business loan. The biggest thing they're saying is that um, time, too many personal accounts. No, no time since most recent personal account opening too short. Um, basically in saying I don't have enough history and that's a 730 and I make my income for my business. I did like 300,000 last year. So I have the money for my business. It's just, I keep running into not having enough history and things of that nature. So my question to you is, should I try to get an AU with the history to offset that? Or what would you recommend? Um, I would, I would, I would recommend us going through, um, through the business. Okay. I wouldn't. I wouldn't even touch the, the uh, the personal side. Okay, because they ran my credit for that. I guess to see to PG. I don't know. It was a, it was a, a PayPal business loan. I just wanted to. They. I tried to pre qualify, and they said I have a seven thirty one. They checked my TransUnion, but they said it was too short. Accounts too short. Basically saying I didn't have enough history and my utilization, which I know I can control that. But that was basically the gist of the denial. That, that, that's cool. You know, keep in mind when it comes down to PayPal, they're not my fave, right? Because they act like mm -hmm. they're American Express, but they have like, you know, a credit one, uh -huh, you know, they, you know, customer service. You know what I mean? It's like, okay. like you, you have no right to be acting like you've been around the block since, you know, you, since Wells Fargo has been rolling around with their carriages. Uh, but, you know, one of the things that I would say is that when it comes down to the business side, this it, it just opens up a whole new world. A lot of lenders on the business side, on the prime side, only really requires six fifty. If prime, okay. meaning tier one, only requires six fifty and above. And if you have the financials to back up, and you want to establish there, we can help you and assist you with that. Technically, because of the fact that you don't have any type of revolving, we're going to need to use some sort of comparable lenders to at least get you thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollar term loan. But if you park it in your business, you can use that money to pay it back through time. Uh, and I think that would be the best, the best option to go utilizing the business. Ultimately, that's what we all, there should be no reason why we even trying to, uh, you know, uh, yes, it's cool. We have the business going on, all this kind of stuff, but, but it, it really starts carrying it under your business once you get things going. Okay. And I have, and Lightstream gave me that same denial. So I'll just see, I don't want to take up so much time. I'll just see you at the blueprint summit and let you run yeah. and stuff and see what we could do. I appreciate Absolutely. your time. Thank you so much, Herm. Thank no you, problem. thank you. Lenders on site at the Blueprint Summit to solve all your problems. I, I cannot make it any easier for you. Next question. Carrie, talk to us. How are you? Good. How are you? Good to see you again. Um, good to see you. Can't wait to see you guys at the Blueprint. Um, Quick question. So I'm fighting two of my credit uh, reports, uh, Experian and Equifax. My TransUnion is high, 764. Um, the other ones are pretty low, all due to ident identity theft. Is there anything that can be done like to be able to possibly pull a business uh, mortgage out? My business last year made about 350000 Um, And I already have my taxes done for my S-Corp for uh, one year. My business is about to complete two years in business. Um, is there a possibility that something can be done with the other two credit scores that are low, just fucking with a uh, TransUnion or messing with TransUnion? Pardon me. Did you say <laughs> sub six hundred or sub seven hundred? So uh, my TransUnion is at seven seven sixty four. The other two are about six fifty five and six fourteen. But I'm yeah. dealing with identity theft in court with those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're not going to probably want to touch anything until identity uh, theft is completed until you have some sort of documentation showing and stating, hey, this is really uh, not yours and you challenged it and you went through the route of, of legally getting you know, rid of it and resolved. But once you do, yeah, the, 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 they start, I think, at 600. Um, uh, but um, uh, please keep in mind, they might at times say, you know what, it's a little bit on the riskier side. We might want you to put 15% down. But if it's a first home, like, you know, listen, I'm gonna tell you something, guys. If you look at us, we're not rolling around in, uh, you know, in, in $5 million mansions uh, uh, and, and all that good stuff. In the beginning, when you're starting a business, you're starting small, right? So maybe it's just a good opportunity for you to start maybe with a small starter home. And then from there, you take it up. Once you start making more money, you qualify for more. You start making more money, then you jump onto the third home and so on and so forth. Or keep the first, second home, rent those out, make money and make, make those properties pay for your primary home. It's all about that's the game plan. I've got a yeah, I've got a business partner that we're actually trying to buy a million dollar home, but you know, separate on my end, on my credit is a separate, you know, possibly just be able to do more investments, things like that. Yeah. 
Yeah, I would, I would, I would talk to them and uh, and uh, obviously talk to a good CPA or a good uh, uh, tax person. But I would take a million dollar. If you're looking to invest a million dollars, you can divvy that up within ten properties. Only put ten percent down, which is a hundred grand, which we can get you. And now you have ten properties that you're a landlord of, and then rehab is paying for all of it. And if you're able to make about three thousand or two thousand dollars because they're multifamily, two to three thousand per month times 10 properties, right? So if you can talk to that to that business partner and say, hey, listen, let's hold off a little bit on that primary home for a million and let's divvy it up into 10 properties and make some money. Then we'll figure it out later on how we can get a $3 million house for you. Because the, th the th 30000 20 $30,000 that we're making in profit can pay for that house by itself. Okay, thank it. you. Thank you. Hi, Hiram, um, yeah, this is pretty impressive. Um, they're throwing curveballs at you and you seem to have a solution for everything. The, the point of this call was to figure stuff out um, because banks are tightening and you really have you really have solved a lot of problems. I appreciate you. We're going to do a couple more. We're going to listen, li listen, listen. And, 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 and what we're going to what we're here to do is listen, I want you to get at least a minimum of 10 grand. If you're coming to if you're coming to Blueprint Summit. I want you to tap into the rich free lendability review. I want you to click on that. I want you to lock in with my team. Get a minimum of $10,000. Even if you don't use it, I'm going to meet with each and every one of you that got 10 grand and we're going to bring you in a separate room and I'm going to show you how you can turn that into seven figures and six figures. I promise. I promise. You promise? If, you, if you don't, if you don't even, if you're not even interested, the next day, go get that money back to the lender. Hey, yo, here you go. Here's your ten grand back. Oh, because at work, because because at worst case scenario, now you have a nice paid off ten thousand dollar loan. That's actually ingenious of you, Hiram. That's very impressive, sir. I'm trying. I'm trying. That's man. very impressive. Um, <laughs> I will drop the link in the chat right now. I'm dropping the link in the chat right now. I'm dropping the link in the chat. All right. Next up, we have. All right, Dante. All right, Dante. What's what's good, bro? Lower your hand. Ask them. You, Dante, talk to me, bro. There you go. You should yeah, be how you doing? My fault, my fault, my fault. How y'all no, doing? I'm feeling good, how bro. How are you? I'm all right. Uh, my question, right? Um, I got a uh, a LLC where I got uh, like five um credit lines, and um, I had I mean, we get five credit lines, and I had like a gas card with it, but you know that messed up, and I and I went through some problems where it, it was somewhat. Oh, I was going through like a uh. I forgot the name of the company, but they like kind of talked me into dealing with them because I had like a car wise detailing business. Mm -hmm. And um they talked me into dealing with them where they could give me uh like customers or whatever. And um long story short, I stopped dealing with them, but I guess they just kept charging me and I didn't know. So it long story short, it, it came to a collection when they said I got over two thousand dollars or something. And that's why I got like I got like discouraged with my uh, LLC and I stopped uh using it. Um, so my question is, like, can I still, um, cause I, I don't know about, cause I, I try to look on my nav and it, it don't say nothing about like, um, credit, uh, credit collection or none of that. But I was trying to see, uh, can I still use that, uh, LLC to try to, uh, get funding knowing that I still, I had my, like my five, uh, credit lines and I, you know, I used them and I was building it to the point where I was trying to like get further with it. I just got discouraged. So I was trying to figure, like, can I still use that or should I just let that that one go, knowing that I, I got, like, a collection, like, a $2,000 collection on it. And how long ago was that? Um, It's it been, it been, like, two, three years or something. Oh, yeah, you're good. You're good. Uh, I would recommend, uh, and that, that'll be another class, but I would recommend you can add three to five uh, um, uh, trade accounts to that, like net 30s and 90s. Uh, and right. In fact, uh, in fact, if, if you got a spouse, uh, Tiffany's, I know every woman in here knows what Tiffany's is. Uh, you can open up an account with them. They'll give you a net 30. Uh, don't go crazy because you do got to pay within 30 days. But get something right. small. Add that trade line. Macy's is another one that'll give you, right? Uh, Amazon, uh, after three trade lines, they'll give you an account as well. And that's, again, that's another class. But the more good trade lines that you build on the credit profile, that one will start to kind of like go to the bottom of the, you know, of the of the poll, and then you can start strengthening the business credit again so you can start applying for more things. But don't close well, out the business or start a new business because you have that. It just so happens that you got to start building a better uh, better qualified uh, trade lines so that it can assist you in, uh, in, in you know, that diminishing factor that's hurting you on the other side when it comes down to that account. All right. All right but 
Yeah, and I, I definitely just uh, scheduled a, a meeting because I don't you know, like when I'm here. And uh, how can the, if the summit ticket is over, can I get a, a summit, a, a blue summit ticket or is it over? Yeah, the blueprint, I'm so, so sorry, guys. I wish I could add more seats, but it's a theater and um, I can't add any more seats. So we're sold so out. Sold out. Sold out. Mm -hmm. Sold out. Um, we sold out in three three weeks. But shout out to y'all. I promise you, I got something else coming this year. Okay. Hiram has been on my butt. He's like, Herman, we got to take care of the people. We're going to run something back for y'all. We got you. Definitely. Hiram, Hiram, you are five for five. Nobody has stopped you yet. Hold on. Let me. Oh. <laughs> um, no, one, no one has. Um, I, there you go. Hiram, unmute yourself real quick. No one has um has stumped you yet. That's that's very impressive. Um, Hiram, a couple of people in the chat are asking the same question. Um, what docs do they need to bring with them to the Blueprint Summit if they're trying to get funding? I just told everybody, hey, at least email yourself your your um your business documents. But what do they need to bring with them? Do they need to bring anything? Well, uh, all right. So here here you go. Here's the list. All right, get ready to write this down. Those that are coming down to the Blueprint Summit. Okay. If you're sitting on a seven uh six ninety nine and above. Mm -hmm. I'm going to provide you a link when you get there and you're going to fill out a um, uh, an identity IQ link. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I may get with you. Maybe they fill yours out, but it allows it allows us to do the verification process to verify your identity because my processes are not there. I can see you, you know, but instead of, hey, give me a driver's license, give me this. But yes, bring your driver's license just in case. Uh, all right. Check this out. Let me let me step back a little bit. We're awesome. going to have City, Chase, Bank of America. Uh, Bank of America, we're going to have um, about 18 Elon banks, and we're going to have uh, like two or three more from like New York on standby. So when my processors look at the credit profile through Identity IQ and you hit the little button that says submit now to Ladder Financial Group so we can do a review through artificial intelligence robotics, we will let you know on, uh, on the spot within 10 minutes, hey, we can get you 60 grand. You in? All right, let's go. So for those that are six ninety nine, I'm gonna give you a link. If your credit is locked, unlock your credit before you walk in on Saturday morning, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. because I don't want to have to deal with a bank that likes your credit profile just by doing the soft pull, and then the moment that they're amped, they're running millions of miles a minute, and yours is locked. The chances of getting the best approvals possible when we get them hot may not be the best approval, or sometimes a decline. Once I get a decline, it's hard for uh, for them to overturn it. That's for six ninety nine above. If you're sitting on a six ninety nine to about a six seventy nine, the only thing I would need is a driver's license, your business EIN letter. Hopefully, you have that, or at least the willingness to go and call for your EIN letter, so that we can get you some sort of business credit. If you don't have a business yet. We'll talk about that. We'll worry about that at that point in time, but at least your driver's license and so on and so forth. Anybody that's under 679, have your app for your bank account readily available that your phone can actually download the bank statement so you can forward it to my team. You want to fill out a quick application with my team, no hard pull. And you also want to have at least some sort of utility bill cell phone, credit card statement, bag statement, something like that. That way we can send it off to the lender and get you the approval on the spot so that you can get funded. Or we can slow down and just submit everything right now and then we'll get that all funded before you even show up. So it's totally up to you. 679 oh. under, bank statements, driver's license, uh, six, uh, 699 under from there. We need your EIN letter. We need your driver's license. And then 700 and over. Uh, um, we want a 699 over, uh, just bring your, your driver's license and then we will have your identity IQ so you can complete it there on the spot and make that happen for you. Everything is soft pool, no hard inquiry, go to the shopping mall, see what you like. You like, if it represents well on the window, go in and buy it and let's go. That's crazy. Or they can get funding before they show up. That's, that's why we had this call. Y'all get funding even before y'all show up. Be William because, Crosby. Because 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 if they get the funding, that the, the part that they got the ten grand, we can now go into a separate room and we can really talk and we can uh, some real on, game. We can put them on some game. Um, William Crosby, what is your question? My question is, I got over a seven forty on all three, but I just got a couple of AUs and rent reporting. Can I still get some funding? Tap tap on there, man. Let we banks are. Uh, I know that a lot of a lot of banks don't like the uh, the AUs, but with AI. 
we're just letting AI do its thing. Uh, it's something that that Herm's known that we've been working on this for over two years. Uh, AI has a tendency of working a little better with TransUnion for whatever reason. Not a lot of banks pull TransUnion, so we have a very small amount of lenders that we can work with. But what I want you to do is give us a chance and be open-minded to it. Because uh, what if we get you uh, a term loan? Maybe we can't get your business right now, but what if you get your term loan for 2030? Can you take that 2030 and make it into 60, 60 grand? Can you make it into 100 grand? So that, that'll be a, a good conversation to have with our team to find out if that's good for you. Okay. Hiram, and that's Hiram, the Hiram, 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 chat going crazy. You talking about you getting people funding with AUs. My God, my God, this is unheard of. This is we, we have to of. we have to stay. This is unheard of. Listen, if you're watching this on YouTube, I will put the link in the in the um description box. Hiram, you are disgusting. Hey, who who won? Who won the tickets? Hiram, who won the tickets from that live from the 750? Um, whoever won the tickets, they already been communicated. They already been DM. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Manny, 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 talk to us. What is your question? All right, all right. Uh, first and foremost, Herm Sakbase. Talk to me. All man. right, all right. I'm trying to see if I get my camera. Uh, uh, my camera's not working. But the first, first and foremost, I want to say I stumbled across your video in uh, November of last year. So uh -huh. far, since November of last year, I secured $46,000. Uh, in business funny. And I was trying to pull my camera up so I could show you. <laughs> Just by, by watching, watching the videos, right? Just by watching, watching the videos. Watching the YouTube video that you did on on uh, on Equifax. And I went ahead and I was trying to show you right now. That's why I was kind of blowing you up just now. <laughs> I love it. I love but, it. Congratulations. Uh, I, I, do, I appreciate it. But I do have one question um, for uh, uh, for her. Um, I do. I just got a. I came in a little late, and I got a uh, a card from U.S. Bank for six thousand dollars. And I heard him say something about uh, was it was it Bank of America, where it's like sixty five hundred dollars, and then turned it into sixty five thousand. Right. Yep. Can mm -hmm. I am I in a position where I can attempt to run that play, or or is that something you know like that I can do on my own, or is that something that I, I would need your assistance for? But this you know, is US. I, I, yeah, I'm giving I'm giving you a, a, a lot of game that you can run on, on your own. Uh, what, uh, but let's be honest, they already had they already gave you the approval and you already received it. Right. You already I have the card right now. Yeah. Yeah. And, and they, you didn't you didn't. The rebuttal comes in. The negotiation starts when you get the pre-approval. OK. Now, okay. If, the difference is if it, if it was automated and you just said, OK, I accept the terms and move on, then that then you can go back. But if you right, already right. were on the phone with them. And they already spoke to you and they verified and you didn't even put up any type of barrier or defense. You might as well go to another lender and run that play and say, OK, all right, let's be on. Let's check this check, check out. And, and I don't want to take too much time on this. The most important thing when it comes down to rehashing is making sure that it's it sounds provable. Right. I can't tell you how many times people uh, you know run a play and say, yeah, I'm forecasting for one point five million dollars. Bro, you fit you selling fishing nets. <laughs> How are you gonna make 1.5 million selling fish in this? Carab I mean, um, Cabela's already got you on on, on lock, right? right? So it's gotta be it's gotta be provable at some sort, but but you're saying it verbally. So okay. if you're saying okay, when it comes down to revolving credit cards, you can do that very easily. You can say okay, I'm gonna make about approximately about five hundred thousand dollars. It sounds like a consulting company, which a lot of consulting companies make millions of dollars a year. So you have the opportunity to say, listen, my marketing ad spend is a hundred grand a month. What am I going to do with a little ten thousand dollars, twenty thousand mm. dollars? Boom, you lock them already, because you're already telling them that you are spending the money in a higher volume and a magnitude. They want you to go all six or twelve months without paying down the debt because they know they got you at the end of that that zero percent for six or twelve months. They got you at thirty percent, so they Each want all that money. That so was a gem. You Write it. that down. I hope they wrote that down, bro. Mm -hmm. You're talking about your projected spending, right? Not, oh, I'm going to make 1.2. No, you're telling them I'm going to spend. I, I can't do nothing with this $10,000 car. I spent 50, 20, 30,000 a month. What am I going to do with this? Yeah. I Write can't even take my down. family to Disney. I can't even take my family to Disney. Listen, Disney's like 20K for a good time. Right. You trying to give me 10? Have you have you seen what inflation look like? Nasty. Pebbles cereal is six dollars. I remember eating pebbles for like a dollar forty nine. My mom used to buy them in the big bag without the box, right? Yeah, I remember. Got eighties, nineties babies. I love it. Right? I love it. 
<laughs> All right, let's move on. Leon, he changed his name. This is hilarious. Leon and then Jabril Wilson is next. My God, Jabril is next. Leon, VIP Summit member. Talk to us. Boom. Changed his name. I love it. Leon, what's going on? Leon, 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 Leon. Oh, Leon. Talk to me, Leon. Hello? There we go. Leon, talk to us. Oh, I think something went wrong. I'm not Leon. Oh, you're not Leon? Who's this? I'm screen to, uh, to unmute. Oh. So I unmute it because I, I guess it was me, right? If it comes on the screen. No. <laughs> I'm waiting for Leon. But do you have a question real quick? While we wait yeah, on I Leon? do have a question. Go yeah. ahead. Um. Yeah. Good night, everyone. Thanks for this talk. I really appreciate this talk. Mm -hmm. Um. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to get my hands on the the most funding I can for my investments. Mm -hmm. So right now I have like a bunch of 50k offers with SoFi um on Credit Karma app. Mm -hmm. It said that outstanding chances. My TransUnion Equifax scores on there are both 793. My mm -hmm. experience score is 779 on the free app. I already took out a 20K personal loan with Citibank a little over a year ago. It's at 16K balance. I never missed any payments, so it's good standing. And I recently paid off a student loan completely in the last two weeks. And my total nice. credit limit, it, my total credit limit with all my cards is 53,500. So I'm wondering, like, should I try and apply for that 50K loan with SoFi? Or should I wait? I'm currently trying to remove some inquiries. So should I like wait it out? Because right now my investments are low. Like this is the right time. But you know, I don't want to like waste the inquiry if it's still gonna not um approve me. Should I still like wait it out? And yeah, what what will y'all do? All right, so, so check this out. And and I'm gonna answer with this. SoFi's average rate right now. Wait, you know what? I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna look up SoFi, see what they're charging right now on the rate. To see if it's even worth it. Right. So I have the rates right here. We just ran a play with them. And in the meantime, I'm going to drop the they're they're, si they're sitting on a seven uh seven sixty and above, they're sitting at a fourteen point nine. Mm. So you tell me the sixteen point uh the uh, uh let's say let's say fifteen points, fifteen percent. You might pay this low on pretty quick, right? On fifty grand. You go find yourself for amortization uh, uh, form that you can you can find online. So now let's say that you keep it for twenty four months at fifty percent. You're paying that money to them. Or if I get you fifty or eighty or one hundred thousand dollars in business credit, all under the business EIN at zero percent for twelve months, uh, up to twelve months introductory. Where what money's cheaper? Um, the zero percent. Yeah, tap on that okay. link, bro. I'll tap on the link. Let, let me help you out with this because 50%. Yeah, that, thing. That's the thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely uh -huh. interested. I'm going to fill out that form. I already started that process too. So I already have some business um funding, some 0%. But mm -hmm. I kept getting the others I was trying. I guess like I was waiting like, you know, six months, like the second round, right? So mm -hmm. I was waiting because I already got a bunch of um inquiries and um, disapprovals. But I'm going to yeah. definitely fill out that form. But it's just right now, I'm still like, you know, that that kind of slow down. So I, I still want as much money because, you know, I have a really good game plan to flip the money. So that's why I was wondering, should I just tap in the this, uh, personal side for a bit or that would kind of mess up continuing on the on the business side? Well, it, it, it doesn't matter. We can we can do a hybrid on it. And the, the, the greatest thing is that, you know, if you connect with us, we're going to evaluate it and, and we'll get you the pre-approval offer without hard inquiries. The only time the hard inquiries is, is going to come in place when you say yes, if you agree to it. So where, where SoFi is, is going to do the hard inquiry first uh, uh, on the, you know, to, to, to be able to get, okay, so send me your doc, send me your this, send me your that. Uh, and you're going to have that where opposed to, I can give a combination of different types of lending sources and say, all right, so here's, here's what I can get you. You said as much, okay, here's your 120 or here's your 90 or here's your this. And then if you decide you want to move forward, then you'd be like, okay, let's move forward. That's when the inquiries will start. Got you. Mm -hmm. dope, All dope right. Question. Thank you. I'll definitely, I'll definitely tap in. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. Um, Hiram, what's your energy level? You good? Uh, yeah, I'm good. I'm, 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 I'm watering up. I'm good. All right. Let's go. He's warming up. Jabril Wilson, my guy. How are you feeling today, Jabril? I 
asked him, you see if you can mute yourself, bro. Yes, yes. What's going on? Here man? we go. How are you feeling, my God? I'm at Jabril. How's your wife? How's the family? She is great. She, she, her birthday is tomorrow. We're coming down to the summit. Looking forward to it. Excellent, man. Yes, what yes. is your question for the people? What's your question for Hiram today? So for Har Har one, one thing, I, I got over a, a 790 and over 100 something in, in business credit, but with the credit cards, what what could we what, what could we do? I've already registered and applied, but they're saying that you're not going to be available to Thursday. I want to get get some money this week, even even by tomorrow. But you're not available according okay. to. So I'm ready uh, to go. Uh, 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 hey, Craig, is it possible that we can open up a, a, a slot on there? Yeah, I'm ready to go. I can I can do it in the morning, whatever, whatever way you got. So I can yeah. already have this money while I'm driving to Pennsylvania. Yeah, let me let me let me see if I can get if I can get Craig to open up a, a slot on our apartment calendar because uh it, it looks like we got mm -hmm. a good yeah, amount we, of uh. Hey uh, Jabril, we, we yeah Jabril, we can handle that. Um, just go ahead and, and uh go ahead and fill everything out and hit submit, but don't set an appointment and come in as a new and our team pick it up. All right, so I already did, already did it. So it has me for so it's in the system. Yes, I'm already scheduled for the 28th next week. One something, one something, but I'm, I'm ready to go now. So we can do well, it tomorrow. Yeah, I was going to say, what's next week? Yeah, it's too late. Exactly. <laughs> we got yeah. you. All right. So yeah, if you we'll, made we'll, any, any yeah. appointments that are made uh, next week uh, will be pushed to this week on our calendar. So we'll be reaching out to you prior to you guys showing up. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, because everybody's saying uh, that in the chat right now. They're like, her. I'm trying to meet yeah, up right now. Yeah. No, well, it's, yeah, and, I, and, and then we have the team on, on Saturday as well. So the team will be exactly available to call some of you guys early on. So shout out. So shout out to you guys who hurried up and, and clicked the link and book an appointment. I appreciate you. We dropping the link again right there. All right. Next question we have is my I don't guy. Need to do anything else? I'm good. So I'll be good. Yeah, yeah you're good. We're good. Yeah. Appreciate All right. it. My guy, Nick, how you feeling, bro? I'm good. I'm good. Appreciate you for taking my questions. Absolutely. Good seeing you again. You too, bro. Talk to the people. What's your question? All right. Well, you got my number, so we there. I just I joined the mentee program right now. I already booked the appointment with the with the guru right here to go. So a quick question. I'm I'm busting through the gates. I mean, my credit isn't good, but I, I don't owe a bunch of stuff. I'm at the 620 and up. Mm -hmm. But I'm capped at 650. I still got some work to do on it, which I'm pretty sure I can boost it up before April. Mm -hmm. My question is, can I get two, two training Madden plays so I can get on this personal side and I'm good with that? I'm I'm responsible with the big money. You need two training what? Two training plays on the personal side. I need a, a bomb and some dink and ducks. It don't even matter. You you got something for for him, Hiram? I'm still trying. I'm still trying to listen. I, uh, I'm still trying to pick up what he's throwing. at. He, my he apologies. Two, to what? Two, he got a six twenty to six fifty, right? And he yeah. needs yeah. some plays. Yeah, just something on the personal side to get the ball rolling. I only got two types of uh, credit, and I'm looking to just yeah, some personal loans and stuff like that. Okay. Um. All right. So the first thing I'm going to tell you is we're going to the first thing I'm going to tell you is you got you got to, you got to get my uh, in with my team. Right. Uh, because we have about. Uh, I think it was Robin. I spoke to a little earlier. We have like a, a limited banks that we can go. It's like three banks that we can utilize in that six to six twenty to six fifty factor. But let me give you one. Um, if you're just looking just to take off, uh, you can start with uh, Merrick Bank. M E R R I C K. Merrick, Merrick Bank. Bank. What I like about Merrick Bank is that they'll probably get, start you off with maybe a thousand or two thousand dollars unsecured. You ain't got to, it's ain't that card that you, you get approved for 300 and they whack the card 150 before you even get it. And now you only got 150 in fees. Okay. Merrick Bank. The rates are going to be somewhere introductory in that 14.99%. You're not going to get 0%. But within six months of perfect payment history, they will double or triple that amount. So you'll go from 1500 to three grand or up to $4,500. Yeah, would, 
would it matter that I'm already at 2K with Navy Federal unsecured? Oh, okay. Remember what I told you about the, the when it comes down to credit unions, they're going to top that in half for a thousand. Okay. They're only going to okay. base it off a thousand, not 2K. Okay. Especially if you haven't had it for a whole year. Okay. That's okay. a trick right there. Spell, 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 that bank bank. One, spell that bank one more time, Hiram. We I apologize. Merrick. M E R R I C K. I C K. Thank you. What was your other question, Nick? Just one more. Um, no, he he answered it. Um, okay. He, he, and, 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 my, and, and this is my other and this my other thing for you. Do you have do you have a a, a business already? E I N. No. Okay, we need to get that, bro, because yep. there's so many things that you can start with doing with the business side that banks are starting. They're a little softer on the on the business side than the personal. The the personal is harsh because they're they're governed by the Fair Credit Reporting Act. The business side is more on that personal relationship building. So we need to get that that business EIN. Reach out to uh, uh to Kev or to Herm. That way they can get you set up with an EIN because you need that uh, with the business. All right, got you. Appreciate you, fellas. Absolutely. Absolutely. We're gonna, yeah, Nick, because we're going to start planting seeds. It's not just about the plays right now, but once you start running these plays six six months, 12 months from now, you're going to be set up and you already got the LLC. That's already ages ball game after that. Mm -hmm. All right, next question from my Haitian brother, my guy. I am Andy. How are you feeling tonight, bro? Amazing, amazing. Thank you. How you good, doing? Good, good. What is your good. question tonight, bro? Brother, y'all dropping some bars tonight. If everybody don't understand what's happening, y'all <laughs> dropping them. Oh. Tell them. But my question yeah. is, uh, I had a client actually I spoke to today. He's looking to purchase. It's on the real estate commercial side. He's looking to purchase a commercial 64-door unit. And it's appraised at 14. It's nine. They're asking $9 million and it's they're okay with doing the owner finance. This client wants to put a, either a down payment or finance the entire amount with with um with that situation um do they are they going to go in and go through the business bank account or can he just do it strictly off of the doors it's 100 percent occupied uh this is a this is a really great question for uh for craig my business partner because he's uh he's the guru when it comes down to real estate and i can take a stab at it but uh i think he he, he speaks very eloquent uh when he talks on real estate okay andy shout out to you for knowing your numbers really well that was craig. A, that was a great layout <laughs> Craig, you got this? Craig, you there? Yeah, I got it. Hey, okay, can you guys right. hear me? Yeah, there you go. Can you guys hear me? Hey, guys. Yeah. I, you know, I ain't gonna lie to you. I, I wasn't listening to the whole thing. G okay. Give me the Paul Harvey of what you just said, real quick, and I'll give you an answer. Paul Harvey. It's a 64 um, door unit, and it's appraised okay. at 14 million. The owner is selling it at nine, but he's also willing to owner finance it. So we have the option of either giving the person the down payment or right. Um, financing it all outright, but he's open you know to doing a down payment because the owner is only doing a five percent hold for five years. Okay, how old is the owner? Or how close are they to uh, an age? Um, I don't know the age, but he sounds fairly okay. young. Okay, I was going to say if you're getting into business, you know, you don't want to, you know, somebody in a wheelchair at ninety years old trying to get you on a DSCR loan. Okay. Uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. You know the ratio though. Uh, uh, what the rent rolls there? Um, I know he said done. that it wasn't there's there was no rent increase since 21. That was the last time they did a rent increase. Well, and, it's Biden time. Yeah, double it. Yeah. Um, but uh, but yeah, but that's because what you're going to be getting in return is what's going to service the debt. So you need to make sure, obviously, what you're making is exactly more, at least 1.2 to 1.25, 25 cents on the dollar above of what the cost of servicing that debt would be. So it it really all I. I I'd really rather you just, you know, maybe get a hold of me. You can reach me at Craig, C R A I G at group dot com. Send me a quick email. Um, mm -hmm. I'd like to get into get into some more details of it because that's a lot of nuance there. It really all depends on what's there, where the comp is, uh, uh, what the DSCR is on it, um, and then what they're able to do legally uh, with a buy here pay here kind of situation. Because uh, what time. you don't want to do is find yourself short, you know, hold back or a kickback or some. Okay, gotcha. Thank you. Frank thank you. at ladderfinancialgroup.com. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Next question. Jerry Daniel. Jerry Daniel. Come to the stage. Hello. There we go, Jerry. How are you feeling today? What's your question for Hiram? Feeling good. Um, Hiram, so um, I got 
funding. Um, I got a couple zero percent uh, credit cards. I just don't have that friend where I can um, liquidate the cards. Like I can't send them. Like I don't have nobody I can send an invoice. Is there a way to liquidate a credit card like on my own, or do I have to have somebody to to liquidate? You coming to the Blueprint Summit? Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> yeah, I bro. mean, her. I, I I was trying to get one, but you know, yeah. it sold out on me. Yeah, bro. That's we Man, on the recording line. You tripping? You the feds? You bugging? Put me on the stand. Put me in the standing yeah. room, Herm. Put me in the standing that, room. Yeah, I'm that's gonna, a one. Yeah. That's a one on one. I need you to DM. Yeah, me. yeah, you bug it. yeah. That's, okay. that's a one on one. <laughs> you bug too, many, too many witnesses here. We got. Yeah. and you need the yeah. audience circle. You need to have people yeah. who you can who you can run that play with. But yeah, yeah. DM. That's a different conversation. Yeah, he. I, I, I think. I think he works for the IRS. He's trying yeah, to. Yeah, for the IRS, bro. Like, <laughs> wild, I gotta put this on you. Nah, I would. I would yeah. never do that. I would never do yeah, that. Nah, right, right. we're, we're messing. But, we're messing. But, we're messing. But, but, but definitely DM me. All right. Next question, my guy Marco. My guy Marco, how are you feeling? Hey man, I feel blessed. I feel excited. I'm glad to hear it. Yeah, man. man. I'm ready for it. this weekend. Ready for this weekend. Let's get for it. What's sure. your question today? Yeah. So. I've been I've been following you. I've been looking, you know, just watching videos, and so I want I I initially started out looking at um, credit unions. Mm -hmm. So a lot of credit unions around my area, they don't do business accounts or business uh, funding. So um, I found one which is asking for uh, taxes or proof of income. Mm -hmm. So I kind of stopped there. Now I went a year ago. Last uh, December 23, um, I opened up a Chase account. So I started my business. On paper, it's almost four year old. But uh, operationally, I've been operating my business at one year. Chase gave me $6,000, 0%. Two months later, I called them and they went from 6,000 to 10,000. Now I'm at 16. Uh, 0%. Now, right, I actually am about to meet the, but I'm about to end my 0% um, interest. So I was trying to go and find somewhere else where I can get another 0% card, but I'm stuck right now. I'm stuck just because the credit unions around my area, they don't do business. And the one, the only one I found that does is asking for a proof of credit or proof of income. So I'm actually doubting whether or not should I go ahead and hit Wells Fargo? Should I hit America uh, Bank of America? Should I hit the big banks? Can you advise? Uh well in my in my uh, in my opinion, uh if you're looking to to get this under the business, you got you got to go national. You can't stay national. local. Um you can't. Uh, you know, it, it, who I was discussing that with the other day. Uh, if you look at a DocuSign liner or loan liner from a credit union, read that carefully. If it's a credit union or either a, uh, uh, excuse me, if it's a loan, term loan, installment loan, or whatever the case is, credit unions are struggling a little bit right now uh, in certain regions. And they have the ability that if you are 15 to 20 days late and the, because it's member driven, they can call back the loan meaning that you, they will close your account and get their money back. So the limits are lower. That's why they're asking for more verification. Mm -hmm. I would I would work with the national lenders, uh, which obviously you got yourself a chase, uh, right? Uh, you know, Bank of America, It's if you know how to rehash, you, you can, you know, like I just showed you earlier, 6,500 to 65,000, you can go that route, but you got the same strategy I gave you in the beginning, you got to work it. You got to have higher income or forecast higher so that they can give you higher approvals. Uh, mm -hmm. And then when it comes down to, uh, you know, the uh, the PNCs of the world, that that play, we used to run that play last year, but now they became relationship based. So you got to have a PNC local. Uh, but, you know, start looking at the national lenders in the Midwest. Now, you know, not, now that you mm -hmm. now that you mentioned that, I just remember um, I also I just got a uh, well, not just but about a couple of months ago, um, I hit. Um, uh, Ex American Express. So I had American Express on both sides, on the business and on the personal. On the personal, I got 10K. 
zero mm percent. -hmm. However, my business, my business, I uh, also I got like three thousand uh, dollars on that one, but that one got messed up because of the um, somehow I never got the statements. And I didn't really follow up on online. So mm -hmm. they they cut the zero percent on the business side. So now okay. basically I'm at I'm at no, I'm like I'm I have to pay my interest. However, you know, that's three thousand dollars there. And then I have ten thousand dollars on my uh on my personal account, which I really don't want to use because I don't want I don't want to uh hit my utilization. Because right now it's around maybe about 30, 40 percent. It's not it's not super high, and my my credit is uh, seven twenty plus. Okay, I, I want to give you a little bit of a, a, a clarification. This will be the, pretty much a little bit of direction I want to give you. So those of you guys that are hearing, right, it's very important. Maybe some of you guys know, maybe you don't. You need to know your payment date and your reporting date. Everything that you do in your life, if you have the cash. Run it through the cards. If you pay somebody on payroll, run it through the cards. If you got to pay your rent or your mortgage, run it through your cards. If you got to pay groceries, run it through your cards. Don't use your cash until the payment comes up. If you try to play that game with with uh, with uh, American Express because my utilization, because this, I don't want to use it. You're not in six months. You're not going to get an increase. Because why would we give an increase? You don't even take it all the way up to 10 grand. So the goal is if you are able to satisfy that debt, run it up, run it down in a month. Your utilization only counts when that balance hits the reporting date. Gotcha. So therefore, I hope that I speak to you in a year from now. And that this game that I just gave you will give you a higher limit the next time around and we'll give you a free trip to Dubai somewhere on some 90th floor in a building because you earn all those points and you're using the Certerian Lounge and you're doing all these different uh, plays. Don't be scared to use your American Express, especially on the personal side, because <clears throat> your personal side will predict how much you're going to get on your business side when you ask for the increase later on. So right. right now, right now, I'm I'm running everything. Everything I do, I run it okay. through my, my Capital One and I pay it off every month. So that one, cap, just, cap, capital one, no capital one. That's cool. Run it through American. Don't sure, worry about sure the capital one. Okay. Yeah, because yeah. because uh, uh, yeah, no. Your relationship, what you want, is to get to a certain point with your American Express, so that you get an unlimited card. Gotcha. Okay. Not not to be sitting with a little twenty thousand dollar card three years from now. That that's there's no flex. The flex is utilizing that responsibility that you have in your hand, which is Amex, that everybody wants. And then now running this play and knowing how to play their game by understanding your reporting date and your payment date so that a year from now, we're talking about you having unlimited. And now you've put $50,000 in ad spend and you can breathe because you're making $250,000 a month. That's the goal. Sweet. Sweet. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your question, appreciate Mark. We appreciate hey, you. Absolutely. We're going to take a couple more and then we're going to end the call for tonight. Yeah, I'm, gonna... I'm, good. I'm good with two more. I'm good with two more. I got to put babies more. to sleep. All right. I know. We got, I'm going to take Rocky and Miss Bowens. Rocky, what is your question? Rocky is panicking. She's trying to press this, this mute button. I see <laughs> my eyes. Rocky, uh, don't embarrass us, sis. Hi. There you go. Rocky, talk to us. Good evening. Uh, my question is, I have a two-year two year LLC. Um, I have two business card, American Express, the Platinum and the Blue Cash. But I don't have enough funding. Um, it doesn't report to the credit uh, bureau. And I needed to, so I just came off the challenge to buy, buy the block. Mm -hmm. So I need fundings for, to build. Uh, my credit score is 785, 789, and 803. Mm -hmm. So, well, can you can you ask me again what, what, what your question is? On the so I signed up for the call, but I so it said business loan 
or new business funding? And I wasn't sure which one to pick. Uh, is is your business new? Like, are you generating any revenue? I just, so it's two years old. I have a rental property. So, so yes. So, so that there's money going in from that rental property is money going into that business uh, checking account? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So you're going to do, uh, you're going to do, um, uh, business, uh, put, put new business, put new business on there. Okay. Yeah. That'll, 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 uh, expedite that. And then it'll go to the right person. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Excellent. All right. Last question mm -hmm. of the night, Miss Bowens, talk to us. What is your question for tonight? You got to make it good. If you're going last, don't embarrass us, sis. Don't embarrass us. <laughs> It's not no, no pressure, no pressure. I'm kidding. No Go. pressure, no pressure. One, I'm so sad that I can't make the summit. I had already committed to another conference, but I love everything you do. Cheating? That's crazy. Go I ahead. didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know you before. <laughs> I was late <laughs> to the party, but I appreciate the call tonight. So mm -hmm. my question is this. So uh, recently had some criminal activity at work. So we uh, displaced from that job at the beginning of March. Mm -hmm. um, so working on a new position, but right now, technically I'm unemployed, right? Mm -hmm. um, I have, I'm good on the, you know, what do they call it? The emergency fund type thing. So we're not hurting for money, but I want to be careful how I move because technically I don't have income right now. Um, I do have, some business funding, maybe about close to 60,000 that's at 0% right now. And I heard him say, we could take 10 to make it 100. I'm like, can we still do that if I'm not working or do I need to wait until I'm working? Is that uh, is it revolving lines of credit? It is. It's with two with yeah. American Express and one with Bank of America. Oh, yeah. We play with those all day. Absolutely. Okay. All right. So yeah. I'm booked. I'm booked with a yeah. call for next week. So yeah, I would love to see how we could turn that into something. I don't want to yeah. blow it, but I I want to make sure I move appropriately. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we, we can definitely uh, mess around with that all day. It's um uh that's that's what we specialize in. So be glad to uh connect with you and, and chat a little more about it. Thank you so much. Thanks, Harm. Right. My pleasure. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank I'm you. dropping the link one more time in the chat. I know you guys got a million questions. Hiram, um, some people are saying the calendar is booked. We will open up the um the appointment. So shout out to you guys for yeah. executing. So real quick to the 462 people that are here, please, please, please drop a fire emoji in the chat for Hiram and Craig from Ladder Financial it. Group who have you, absolutely blessed the mic. We put this together last minute. I'm glad we followed through with it. Hiram, you are absolutely amazing tonight. We're going to repost this on YouTube. This is going to go crazy, and we'll get some more leads for you. Let's do a million dollars in funding today. Um, yeah. And we'll see everybody at the Blueprint Summit this weekend, and we're going to get some more sauce. We appreciate you. Remember, guys, as always, I love you guys. Thank you for supporting me. I take that very seriously. I love you. Jesus loves you, too. Have a and wonderful Hold on, Herm. Hold on. Yeah. As, uh, as my founder says, we appreciate your time. We appreciate your money. So guys, let's remember, there will be no type of recording at all at the summit. If you are recorded, we're going to ask you to leave. There will not be no refunds. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Tell so them, let's, Mike. Let's, you know, we ain't going to have no foolishness. We're going to come here to learn. That's the whole yes. purpose is to learn. And 100%. I guarantee you, you have a good time. 100%. We're going to have a good time. I'm ready to rock, man. Have a great okay. evening, everybody. We'll talk Take to everybody. everybody soon. Peace. All right, Hira. Take care. Good night.